Today, I had asked four committees to hold hearings to see what we can do. The Assembly Human Services Committee, the Transportation Committee, the Housing Committee, and the Women and Children Committee all focused on poverty today. They looked at things like welfare. The cash grant that we provide for a, a family of three in New Jersey is $424 a month compared to $2,800 a month, which the same department that serves these families recognizes is what you actually need. They looked at mass transit and the poor. A huge workforce in a city like Perth Amboy, only a couple of miles, maybe three or four miles away from lots of jobs in Raritan Center, uh, but there's no way to get from there to there. They looked at affordable housing, job training, and nutritional assistance. The administration um, decided to cut food stamps for 11,000 people, so that's also an issue that we've been frustrated with. Speaker Prieto says he's not looking to spend more money on the poor, just fix programs and remove bottlenecks. When you factor a livable wage, you have 2.8 million residents that live in poverty. That is embarrassing for the state of New Jersey, and we have to do something about it. Advocates for the poor unveiled their wish lists, from better housing for the disabled to better pay for low-wage workers. When you raise the wages of workers, when you raise up the working poor, you actually have a, a beneficial impact on our local economy. Everyone appreciated the opening of the dialogue, but Republicans thought it should be broadened to attack the cost of living itself. Let's start with property tax reduction, because property taxes affect every citizen in the state. Whether you're a homeowner or a renter, it has a direct impact on your life, and it's a very regressive tax. The fiscally conservative group Americans for Prosperity agrees with that. We really need to lower taxes here in New Jersey, make our business climate better. That's the kind of thing that will allow people who are in poverty or transitioning out of poverty have more opportunity here in New Jersey. State House veteran Janine LaRue gave Prieto high marks. You think it's a smart, a smart move, a wise move? Well, it's not just a smart move to carve it out as a priority, but it's a very smart move to carve out a non-legislative day on a Wednesday, holding hearings all day in four committees. It's masterful. For me, Michael, I came from these beginnings. I know what it is to be on assistance. I know what it is to ride on buses. So I know what it takes to be able to, you know, grab yourself by the brute straps and pull yourself up. Prieto will ask the four committee chairs for today's best ideas, then put together a package of anti-poverty bills Senate President Steve Sweeney said today he'll support the effort. At the State House, I'm Michael Aaron, NJTV News.